Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. This is the Donay Formula 100 and Pro 197 Octa-Core Editions review. These are the unibody models, meaning the racket is in one whole piece. No pallets and stuff like that. Thanks to racket number one in Norway for the demos. And this is the Pro 197 for players seeking max control. They talk about the PT57A. It's a precision racket at the cost of power and forgiveness. Really like this one, surprisingly actually. And here is the Pure Drive from Donay. It's called the Formula 100 and it's more about free power and spin, but will obviously be less controlled. The rackets look great. They also play really well. I'm actually positively surprised. The previous rackets were also good, but I felt like the Pro 197 was a little bit uh, underpowered and uh, too flexible, so I struggled with it in the previous generation. But this one feels more solid, maybe it's the unibody, maybe they stiffened up the layup a little bit, they don't do the, the stiffness ratings. And so as you can see here, the specs, uh, it's for the Formula 100, more like a pure drive, 300 grams, 1619 pattern. 32 centimeter balance, uh, all pretty much there, 27 millimeter beam width at the thickest point. So um, pretty similar to a pure drive in many ways. However, this one is lower in stiffness and foam filled. So these layers of foam makes this racket uh, really solid and comfortable, but they are not overly muted or dampened. This racket does have a relatively high launch angle because the string pattern is not like an e 100 but more similar to kind of older pure drives. They were a little bit more open in the string pattern, if you know what I mean there, like the soft drive or the pure drive original, for example. But overall, an excellent racket, gives you plenty of power, and uh, you need to obviously add some top spin to control it, uh, but very nice on the comfort level, great on serves. Uh, many good things about this racket. I tried it with Polytor Pro 125 at 53 pounds and the Donne X Poly 125 at 51 pounds. Both strings worked well in the racket. Preferred the Polytor Pro in the end, but uh, the Donny X Poly, that is what the racket comes with, is not a bad string either. I would probably string the Pro 197, which we'll get to um, a bit lower to get more forgiveness, a bit more free power, and so on. But overall, much improved rackets. Uh, really enjoyed playing with them. Had a lot of fun testing these frames and uh, surprisingly more stable and solid than the previous rackets, which were a bit too flexible. I think they went a bit far there with the comfort because if you get it too flexible, it's kind of hard to gauge where the ball is going and so on. So most players will be happier with the Formula 100, but the whippiness of the Pro 197 is quite addictive, I must say. You can really swing fast with this racket and generate some, some dangerous shots for the opponent. So if you're into maximum control, the 97 is the way to go if you want more power and help and forgiveness from the frame. The Formula One, the Formula 100 is better, especially on defense, while the Pro 197 is better on offense. As serves, the 97 is really whippy, so it comes through the air quite quickly, while the 100 is a little bit more cumbersome through the air, but obviously has easier power. So um, does give you a really forgiving feel. On kicks, the 100 felt a bit easier to generate enough spin with. Uh, while the 97 is, even though it's 1619, obviously a smaller head size and a little bit more difficult to play with. But uh, yeah, felt like I really could swing both of these rackets quite fast. Uh, both felt aerodynamic enough. Really had a hard time finding any faults. I mean, they are still quite flexible, so you won't find that ultra forgiveness in the 97, for example. It's, it's not like a pro staff in the sense it's a little bit more control oriented. Uh, but still, with the amount of, of uh, pace you can generate from your swings, it's still a racket that is very fun to play with and gives you a decent amount of power for a control frame. But definitely not a power racket at all. And the Formula 100 is one of those 100 screen rackets where I probably would prefer that over many rackets on the market in similar specs. Uh, as you know, I'm a fan of the ES 100. I still feel that's hard one to beat because it's... Uh, you know, super forgiving, quite solid, and has a denser pattern. So I feel for me personally, with the flatter game, the pattern is a little bit too open. But overall, if you're looking for comfort in a powerful racket, the 100 is the way to go. Here we have the specs of the Pro 197. As you can see, 97 square inches, 305 grams on strung, kind of like a blade. Pretty low swing weight. You can really swing out and be fast. And there's room for customization. 
21 millimeter width, which makes it really whippy and uh, quite uh, aerodynamic, I would say. So as you can hear, I was positively surprised with both rackets. Maybe the Pro 197 is not quite powerful enough. I kind of preferred going up to the Radical then, which is a little bit more power, or the Blade, for example. And the Formula 100 has a little bit too much of an open string pattern. For me personally speaking, but for many, many players, these rackets are good competitors. And with the more focus on comfort, I think they really should be considered here comes an issue, uh, where do you find these rackets and how do you buy them? And I got them from Racket One, my buddy runs that co company. Uh, they sell rackets and paddle bats and so on in Norway. Uh, I think they also ship through Europe, so uh, you check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, Paris is a super nice guy and he should probably be able to help you there if you're really interested in checking these rackets out. Uh, if you're in the States, you should be able to go to the official Donate website. Don't have any contact with them at all, so don't really know what's up there. So the new Donate rackets get a thumbs up for me. There's also a Pro 107, you know, the Agassiz style one. So maybe it's something to check out in the future. But overall, uh, very happy with the frames. And uh, I've been using them uh, uh, way more than I need to to make this review. I've actually been playing with them quite a bit. Uh, they were my go-to frames during my trip to Sweden, which were a few weeks. And I've actually been playing with the Pro 197 in recent set play. If you need help finding the racket for your games, just check out my consultation service, my ebook, uh, even a course I have. So there's a lot of content, obviously, on tennisnerd.net and this YouTube channel. And this is a never-ending topic. And you shouldn't go into the jungle without a proper machete. So that's really what I'm trying to provide, not that easy. It's a very personal topic as well, but uh, there are some rules to think about and there are many millions of mistakes that I've made that I hope I, you can avoid. So um, yeah, check that out on tennisnerd.net and with the links in the description. That's all for now. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.